Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a slight bit different, uh, and we're going to see if we can try and resurrect this bench. Our first challenge for this job uh, is getting the bench back to the workshop and actually accessing this uh, because to get this out, probably need it to lift it onto something and we have a couple of challenges getting to it. Mainly the fact that we've got a couple of raised beds here, which quick bit of a garden update. You can see in this first one, uh, my mum and sister are growing bamboo, uh, and but they've got some weeds growing up round the bamboo so we might need to help them with some weeding later and in this other one that's in the way they've got cabbages not fully sure why you would ever want to grow cabbages it's usually the stuff that you try and leave on your plate and uh, see if you can get away with not eating but yeah the first job we've got to do then is get the flail mower and just mow over all these cabbages and then we can go and try and get to the bench. Well, it turns out our idea of going over the cabbages with the flail mower was overruled. So we've brought our favourite trailer through into the garden here uh, so that we can try to load the bench uh, or what's left of the bench onto the trailer. Not sure how successful this is going to be because obviously uh, it's not exactly in one piece, and it's got all of these weeds growing up through it that we've got to lift, try and lift it up through. But we'll give it a go, and if we are successful, then the next shot you will see is us with it in the workshop. We are now in the workshop with the bench, and it did collapse on the way around here. And the problem with that really is there's this metal support, uh, which goes between the two sides and then up the back of the bench, which is now extremely bent. But we're going to take a couple of minutes just trying to work out what's going on with all the different bits. Uh, but while we're doing that, it's time for sticker time. We're inside now and I have our bits of mail here. Although it's quite warm outside, we've got the fire going just for the sticker atmosphere. So we've got one from Dean in California and the other one that we think is from Ollie here in the UK, but we're not fully sure. Uh, so we'll start with Dean's. Now to open them up. So Dean's uh, channel is the Air Cave Shop, as you can see uh, on his stickers there. They look very cool. And currently on his channel, he's doing uh, a project on an Atlas 7B Shaper. So thank you very much, um, Dean. Uh, and I hope I've pronounced your channel name right. Please do correct me if I haven't. But I highly recommend going and checking out Dean's channel. Um, as I said, the Atlas Shaper project uh, is very good. So we'll leave a link in the description of the video so you can go and access his channel a bit easier. Now on to the second piece of post. Uh, and we will see if our prediction... Uh, was correct or not that this is Ollie. We have a note here, uh, and it is from Ollie, so thank you very much, Ollie. He says, Thanks for the stickers. 
please find a couple of mine enclosed. All the best, Ollie. So thank you very much. Let's have a look at his stickers. There's some quite cool stickers there from Ollie. And as you can see written on there, his channel is Ollie's Workshop. And like Dean's channel, there will be a link in the description below. So please do go and check out both of these uh, great channels and make sure to watch a couple of their videos uh, and comment that we sent you and I'm sure they'll make you feel very welcome. But once you've checked out both of these uh, great channels, it's back to the bench project outside. Welcome back now and we've figured out uh, what we're going to do, uh, or partially at least. So we were given a while back a couple of uh, picnic tables and uh, we dismantled them at the time for the wood. And this is a piece of wood from the smaller one. That's the kind of size they were. Uh, we did have a bigger one as well, uh, which we have the pieces of over here, which we have um, drilled the holes uh, for screws and put three coats of wood stain on uh, in preparation. Only problem is, as you can see, we've got one of the uh, old bits of timber from the bench and these new ones are slightly smaller. So we're going to have to adapt uh, those. But before we sanded all of these down uh, and stained them, this is what they look like. We've now detached the final things from this side. Not much was still attached to the side, but still it was mainly just this brace on here. What I'm now going to do is quickly clean up this end, because uh, I'm going to be reusing this original part. We've cleaned everything up now, uh, and we discovered that we had an ant's nest uh, that we'd picked up from where the bench was sitting, so we've now evicted all of them. And we've also uh, straightened out the middle brace, which goes uh, in the middle across all the slats, and to get the right profile, we put it up against um, on our side bits, try and get that straightened out to the right curve and we did a similar thing with these braces that mount on here to support the middle slat from both sides which were all hugely bent out of shape before and we'll need to do some adjustment on them as we fit up the bench uh, but we can do that as we're going along now the plan of action first is to get these two slats um, which on the bench uh, you have two thinner slats at the top uh, and then down at this end as well then all the rest of them are the same size which are these wider slats which i've got two of here and what we're going to do first is put uh, these in the top um, hole for this size slat and the bottom hole for this size uh, piece of wood um, to try and join the two ends of the bench and then see if we can work from there but for that, I'm going to need two people. Uh, so I'm going to get my cameraman to help me and we'll come back to you once we've done that. We've now spaced out three slats uh, because it was too difficult to try and uh, line up with just the two. And we think there might be a bit of, um, or there might have been a bend in the metal ends at some point which would have been quite difficult to achieve seeing as their cast, but you never know. Uh, so what we're going to do now, before we do our ball of the fixings tightly, is we're going to position all of the remaining slats uh, in place, and then in a second I'll put the fixings in, and then we can try and line it up so that they're all uh, 90 degrees to the frame and everything is lined up as it is or as it should be so i'll just get these remaining ones in we'll put the fixings in and then start trying to line it up 
We've now attached all of the slats and gotten it to a point where we think it is pretty much straight, which proved to be a lot more difficult than we thought. Turns out that the casting is in fact bent, uh, and another challenge is the fact that we're working with second-hand wood, so you can see by this top bit, it's a bit warped in places. So next job is to attach uh, the braces, which one bit, the main one being this one, which goes underneath uh, in the middle to attach to all the slats, and then we've got these two smaller ones which go on each. Uh, and and attach to, I think, this slat. It's not too easy to see because the mounting point is kind of between two slats. But to attach this one, uh, we think the easiest way to do it is just going to be turning the bench on its end so that then we're fixing this um, down onto it rather than fixing it up onto it. So we'll turn this over and then try and see if we can get this mounted. So we measured, lined up and screwed in this middle brace um, to all of the slats, which we had to do a bit of, uh, well, we struggled a bit with the lining up to try and get the holes or the screws in the middle of the boards. However, with a good result, because we didn't think there would be too much difference with this on, however, it's really stiffened everything up, so that's good. Now we've also found, uh, we've also put on bolts for this and what we now need to do is screw these into place on this slat here and then we can turn it back over and see what it looks like. We have the bench the right way up now and it looks quite good but we can't really put it off any longer, it's time to test it. There we go, there's not really any flex when I sat down. Uh, that might be because I'm on top of the brace. If we try it here, there wasn't actually too much flex in the boards then either, so it's pretty good. We now have the bench back up onto the trailer, and it is remarkably sturdy, so we won't have any problems uh, like when we brought the bench around here in the first place with it collapsing hopefully at least. Um, and now this is back together, we've been tasked with the job of finding a new place for it to go, since we've been told that it's not going back in its original location. And apparently we've got to find a nice spot for it where it's out of the way and a nice place to sit. So we've got a few ideas, but the more difficult uh, choice to make was what track to tow the trailer with. And we've gone for the 1962 Bolands Ridematic. So let's go. found the perfect location. Now that idea was rejected, can't fully see why to be honest, so we're going to go and find a new location that's a bit more isolated.
found another location and as you can see we're right next to this beautiful hedge here it's very isolated this spot enjoy the view look at that leaf on that hedge amazing that apparently that view wasn't any good either apparently we needed a bit more scenery in our view so uh we've updated the location a bit amazing feature of this view could sit here and watch this for hours we've now been told to stop using our initiative because apparently that isn't the right kind of initiative so we've now been instructed to go chuck it under a tree We've now placed the bench where we've been told to under this cooking apple tree which sounds like the perfect location for all the insects to drop on you as you're sitting here and re the remains of mouldy apples that haven't been picked to fall on you also i think it's quite unfortunate that it's been put here because uh, as we start up the tractor all the exhaust fumes are gonna get in your face but that's it for this video thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed uh this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.